Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are defending our base. Which is awesome, like, spread of enemy ships just doing their best to, like, pull my interceptors um, out of the hangar and busy shooting something else down, and they snuck in. They snuck in with an invasion force. It's so cool to see that actually being adopted as a strategy. I assume that was an intentional thing the designers put in, being like, oh, we'll throw out, like, a bunch all at once. You know, make it really like hard for the for the player to um, you know to intercept all of them, and then boom, invasion! Like really cool. So that's something we'll have to watch out for in future. Um, but we are pretty well equipped for it. Um, oh, also one thing to to add: we have one laser battery, and that didn't destroy the ship. So we we know that we need more than one battery to shoot down invading armies. So one battery, pointless. No point even having it. Two batteries, maybe maybe that'll do. Um, three sounds safer. Uh, we might just go mental with them, honestly. I don't know. We'll see. Um, because it depends how fun this invasion thing is. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, we have Sentry 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Remember their names. They're going to go down in history. I have a good feeling about Sentry number 4. May have to change his name to Mambo if, if he performs well. Uh, we also have Frederick Grigny, uh, Rude Van Giel. Trevor Gamede, Denise Moore, Jennifer Scott, George Brown, Thomas Collins, Paul Voss, Yoko Ishihara, Jonathan Chance, and finally Sally Reed, who is completely green, so this will be her first time to shine. I, I doubt this is the way she would have um, wanted to prove herself, you know, base getting attacked by aliens, but it's her time to shine. Let's do it. One of our facilities is under attack from alien assault team. We must eliminate the invaders or lose our base. Eliminate the hostiles. Don't be eliminated. Defeat in this mission will lead to the permanent loss of the base. You can deploy your units on any green tile before the battle begins. Use a right click to rotate. Okay. The aliens will have the first turn once their null deployment is complete. Enemy assault teams will usually spawn in hangars where possible. However, certain types of aliens, e.g. reapers, are capable of spawning in any room. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. So of course we can deploy in our lift. So here's the missile batteries. One wasn't finished building. What are these supposed to be? What are these? I'm trying to think what's up up top. Because this is actually the layout of our base. We have our three hangers at the top. You know, empty spaces still. Uh, some of our storage. All of our living quarters in the center. These are our three labs, another hangar, which is what makes things a little scary that our hangars aren't all together. Uh, another hangar over here, of course. Have our training facility, medical center. But uh, yeah, what the hell are these then? Another training center. I can't think what's up here. What's the other building we have? Hey, these are the workshops. I can't think for the life of me. Oh, these are our generators. These are our power stations. Sorry, these just look like pillars. These are actually the generators. These are our, like, Elidium generators, or whatever they're called. Okay, fine. Uh, so... Probably a lot of stuff is going to push through this way. The fact that we have three hangers all the line here... Like, if we can... God, it's tough. They might really go for a wonder. As long as we hold this door... And this door. And I guess, like, this one as well. Might be worth, like, lining up by these cots. Although, then being able to use these side doors is a bit annoying. Yeah, this is going to be quite rotten. Also, god, the frame rate, what the hell. Um, so you... Oh, okay. It says rotate with right click. It just means in the same way that you normally would. So that's fine. Let's do that. Okay, machine guns for days. And they can just overwatch forever, I suppose. And then these lot. I might try and expunge whatever's in these areas first. Then I can work my way up into these hangars. Maybe? Is that the way to go? Alright. 
Where is my other? There he is. So I can like this maneuver. Just make sure that anything coming in here gets massively blasted. I am worried about these sentry guns not performing though. We have a sniper. Which, him being here might be good. I'm worried if that opens, he'll just get shot at a bunch from here. And these guys won't have range on him. Also, these things can't duck. So do I have to be over here? Because if they're coming from up here, that might be fine. Maybe. Ugh. We haven't been this corner. Haven't been this corner. Because anything, presumably anything with ranged attacks are going to come from the hangars, right? So there'll be melee stuff coming from this side. I have to be walking into his line of sight from there. Potentially. I'll just have the amount of stuff he's going to shoot past. I have no idea where to put him. That'll do, I guess. Fine. Um... Yeah, maybe the rest. Of our guys. I'm gonna start pushing this way. Although it might be worth trying to take the room, you know? Like trying to take this room so we can hold these two doors and we can just line up all along here. Maybe that's the way to go. Perhaps. God, I have no idea. Not a clue. Uh, Alright, let's put you over here. All right, we're going to block that with all of them. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and take that room. I think. Yeah. I think we'll put these two like here, and we'll put everyone else around that way, so they can shoot over. So I don't know if we can even shoot through this. I have no idea if there's something we can shoot over or not. I have no idea. I think it might be a solid object. I think this might be like a, a loop. So having just a line here means anything moving from here or out here will get shot just in this kill box, right? We could do the same on this side. Or here, maybe. So stuff running there and running that way will get shot. So we'll set up here and here. And I'll have one person here facing this way just to make sure nothing comes in from behind us. And then these five units, right? Sniper, shotgun... All these guys. They can hold that, and he can also contribute this side if need be. Kind of don't like him being in that cover, though. Go there! Go there! I'll shoot through our own guys. I don't care, that's fine. Um, maybe, maybe I will put them there, so he has some gap to shoot through. And yeah, these lot are going to push into this room, start taking cover behind some cots. I think this will have to do. So this is the only green area. We can't deploy anywhere else, so... God, this is going to be real tense. Okay, definitely something down here. I don't know how active we have to be in this mission to, to kill folks. Also, I don't know how many enemies there are going to be. It may have been worth bringing additional ammo. Because how much ammo do these things have? Oh, so much ammo. Okay, that's good news. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So the only movement we saw was south. I guess now not south, because I've moved that. Okay. Let's just... Move everybody up. A little worried about this room. I think we may need to maybe set up firing lines here? 
shooting either side? Maybe? Not really sure. Because like, this is an awkward one. If this opens, these guys get flanked. You know, these guys are almost better to shoot over here than here. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's a little iffy. A little bit iffy. Not ideal. So I squidge them in here. And then in here. Is that the best place to squidge them? Yeah, this is like perfectly designed to not be a very easy place to defend. <laughs> it's just, just great, isn't it? Um, Dicks, I can't move there to point that way. I can move there to point that way, but then I can't have him. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a pain. Uh, that was stupid of me. That was very stupid of me. It's fine. I'll be stupid. It's okay. Tell you what, that's fine. You guys are gonna shoot over there. Hang on, you need to be stood up. But then you're not covered from there. Okay, this is all kinds of. Okay, point that way. Also, that door needs cover as well. So we do need to get these two into here, I guess. And then these guys can cover both doors. That might be more worthwhile, actually. It looks like we can shoot over the bed without a problem. Yeah, okay. So these two uh, will put here, like here and here, facing that way. Or maybe actually in these two spots, facing that way. Because hopefully anything coming through this door will get shot by these three. Right? And they can basically reach. Kind of. It's not perfect. I could destroy this bed though. See, so yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. Right, now over on this side. Let's open this up. And... Yeah, let's just set up... Um... What did you just break? Or is that just... No, I have no idea. I have no idea what they just broke. <laughs> Sounded like they broke something, though. Uh, and you can go here. I don't know if I want to like have him trapped, but I also don't want these guys to suppress him. You know? Because they can be pretty dumb. Okay, chance. And let's hope these guys won't get a good line of sight. Me. It looks like they won't. Well, maybe. Crap. Hang on, this isn't cover. That's only minus 60%. Okay, so this we can actually use as cover. That's annoying. It's very frustrating. Okay, I really did think that maybe covered everything. It doesn't. Um... Alright, I'll have to do. I know sentry guns haven't done a thing. Do I want them to, though? I could set up one over here, pointing that way, like one in the middle, one over there. And then just have uh, Rudy hang back and fill in the blanks. It's quite tempting. That's what they broke. They Oh wait, no, that other guy didn't run over anything. I have no idea what they hit then. Not a clue. Alright, you can just go here and duck. Is that Okay, that is actually cover he can shoot over. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Uh this will have to do, I think. Alright, it's our first turn. Enemy activity. And here they are. Okay, they can shoot straight through these shelves. They're destroying all our things. That's frustrating. That's already taken damage. So, I'm going to move it this way. 
We can move. We made it out of the way. And can I get to that corner? I actually can, but that's probably a terrible idea, isn't it? Probably. Probably nothing going to come from there yet, right? Right? <laughs> Why did I just line them all up here, pointing that way? Just wait for the Overwatch. So tempted. So tempted that I'm just going to do it. Do these things even Overwatch? Like, seriously. How... how Cannot open their inventory. Well, how do I look at their stats, then? I would quite like to look at those. I'd also quite like to poke through here and see what I'm up against. And using a sentry gun might be the way to do that. Hello there. Oh, hi. Hi, fella. Yeah, spot an enemy, alright. Maybe he's still alive. Oh my god, there's another one. Um, uh, we even killed one. Also, we've made some boxes pink. Sorry, everyone, I made the boxes pink. This looks perfect to me. Ooh, there, maybe? <laughs> this is absurd. I love it. What happens when it turns out this is all of the enemies? That's what I want to know. Oh, I can't get there. You can, though, eh? You can. Might hit him, though. And he's all out of juice. It's a good shot, though. It's a good shot. Let's try. Alright, we killed all of them. That felt like a very successful landing for our enemies there. Really, really showing us how it's done, you know. <laughs> okay, let's move you guys out. And you. Okay, you guys. Good. Good, good, good. Let's get you over here. And let's get you over here. Or do I want to go this way? I go here. Okay, because again, probably not going to see anything except ranged enemies there, unless stuff goes all the way around, which seems unlikely. You guys can carry on holding these two doors. Cool. Awesome. Okay, now you guys. I mean, you got this covered pretty well. Can we just end the turn? Oh, we do have you as well. Let's move you up. Let's move you up. Maybe just the door. Just so he's more available to actually do something. Because that defensive position doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Okay. Nothing. So, I mean... That was obviously the guys who landed here. But maybe they've landed in these other ones. They just haven't come through the door yet. You know? Could be the case. Cool. Love that. So, let's just have them poke their heads out. Uh, probably should set one up up here, actually. Got 80 health, which is pretty good. So, we'll go up there. Comedian, I'm not sure I want to hang out behind these missiles. That's probably... Probably a mistake. But... Having a couple of other folks that can... You know, grab whatever remains. I think is a good idea. These two still doing a great job of holding this, I reckon. Except, would they be better at close range? I wonder. I wonder. Uh, let's get you up here too. Or at least up here. Let's go up here. Okay, and you can shoot 
dying leave Nidri. You guys are fine. Chill. Don't worry about it. There is no time limit. As far as I'm aware. But they can, like, run away with all our, like... I don't know, our, our supply of poached eggs or something. Hello. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> I love the idea that the automatic doors just... Just be like, all right, it's dead. And just, just squishing him. Just going, you know, just like a, like a, the old gag of just a, a lift. You know, the lift doors just opening and closing on someone, just really obnoxiously. That's how, that's how our base fights the alien invasion. But I gotta say that Overwatch trap, pretty handy, pretty handy. So nothing else, huh? Jesus, really? Might not be anything else. I mean, who knows how much stuff was actually coming? I have no idea. And I guess we'll go the next turn. We'll go into here and see that there's nothing in here and it frees up all of these units for our uh, our mission to head down this way, I guess, to, to one of these hangars. It could literally be that, like, the stuff is just crawling through all of these areas headed this way, you know? Moves Rini over here. Yeah, you guys sit tight. Sit tight, everyone. I should really duck him. I don't know why he stood up. <laughs> really? Is that it? It just saved. Yeah, that's it. God, look how many troops we have. How fun. Um, okay. Let's poke ahead through here. Oop. All the lag in the world. No enemies, though. Just lag. Lag was the enemy. Was how I made enemy all along. Dun dun dun. Alright, cool. Uh, I should probably scout out the rest of this area. Um, just sending a sentry gun to go do it is... Honestly, like... Feels like a good idea. If it gets shot, who really cares? I'll build a new one. But it means I can quickly figure the area out. And if they do get caught by a reaper, what's a reaper going to do? Lay eggs inside it? And then the eggs just go, oh, um, I can't eat turret. And it'll just, I don't know, starve to death. It's kind of fine, right? Boop. Okay. Cool. Sorry, whoever sleeps there. That ought to do it, right? You know what? Change my mind again. There we go. And I suppose you can move up to... If you wanna. And yeah, everyone else sit tight. Till we know more. It'd be nice if these things were showing us. Something more worthwhile. Oh, this is the radar dish, isn't it? This is the radar dish. So it makes sense that that would be the bottom of the radar. The radar would be on top of it, but like we can't see it, so it feels I don't know. Tough to know what's going on there. Um, so I'm not sure anything can get in here, actually, into this part, unless it's one of the Cruelly Boys. It's always, always the Cruelly Boys. That's what I'm calling Reapers now for some reason. I guess you guys. Oh, you have to take the wrong way around. Oops. Okay, good. And then they are going to end up face to face with this lot, proving that everything is going to have to come through one of these three. I guess one of these three doors, I think. Once I've cleared this out, I'll have to I'll have to check. But looks promising. Uh, also, so does this. Wow, you can make it a long way. So do. Do make it a long way. Lovely. Alright, let's get you over here. Rudy boy. If we woke him up, would that be a rude awakening? Yes, Janet. <laughs> Thanks for humoring me. Uh, Alright, you guys do great. Oh, hang on. Oh, Gamidi doesn't need to be there anymore. 
Yeah, let's get him down here. Mm, maybe. Let's get him here. I don't want to run right in. In case this is the time they decide to open that door. Gotta say though, not not as exciting as I thought this would be. Like it really doesn't seem like we're being attacked by much. Like just this idiot. I mean uh, like oh good. So so scary. <laughs> like they just seem a bit lost. This doesn't feel like we're being attacked. Like even here, like three of them i oh, sorry, four of them all just hunched in a corner. It's like, is that it? Like, we have so many troops. Like, it's kind of weird outnumbering the enemy. You know what I mean? Like, it would be nice. I guess it does introduce us to this. And I guess there is a sandbox element where, like, certain ships can only carry certain amounts of enemies. So, it's always going to cap out at the capacity of things. So, like, it's, it's all systemic, you know. It's all systems driven. Which is kind of great. But, the advantage you get from, like, non-systems driven stuff, where it's a bit more like, you know, it's a bit more built for purpose rather than built to see what will happen, if that makes any sense. Um, it feels like if a ship, I mean, so actually a system could be in place for this. If a ship was going to land here, then it should always be an invasion ship, which is a troop carrier with enough stuff to actually make this sort of battle more interesting. Like, that would be just an immediate solve for the issue that I feel I have here. We should stop destroying all our things. Okay, hopefully nothing's come from that way. Uh, I'd say I can't know for certain, but actually I, I can. I can know for certain. I just check, don't I? Just, I'll just go check. So you can go there for now. So there's another hangar here. So like, feels like something may come from this way. These two enemies probably came from over here. Probably. And yeah, I don't know if we need these guys where they are. At all. Uh, you've moved already. You two can probably head south. I think I will send another person south. Because if there are enemies here, I could always have these two head down here anyway. Because they're not doing anything else either, so... Might as well move up with everyone else. So yeah, I don't know. Things seem a bit, um... Anticlimactic. I was really hoping for, like, just every turn. Several doors, like, from several different approaches opening and shooting at us. But nothing's even making it. And all we're really doing is sat here. Like, Overwatch traps, great, but, um... They're not the most interesting unless something survives. You know? Stuff surviving is, is the compelling bit. And you know what? I can check this last room. Oh, would you look at that? There's nothing. Cool. Alright. Let's just point back this way. And I suppose I can then take over this room. I'm not sure why I'd bother. Um... Uh, okay, you guys haven't acted yet. Oh my god. Research Jim is going to be so annoyed. That's what I've decided to call out, Head Researcher. I've forgotten his name. I'm the commander, though. I can call him whatever the hell I want. <laughs> he just has to live with it. His name's Research Jim now. Aliens! Oh. Oh. I think I heard them flushing the loo. Alright, we're going to avoid breaking everything. I don't know if we'll actually have to, like... Oh my god. I don't know if we'll actually have to repair things. Or not. I have no idea. So, even if I duck these, these guys, <laughs> these lot aren't going to be able to shoot over, which is kind of annoying. Alright, you're going to sit tight. Okay, weird lag, not enjoying it. Uh, you can stand there. And, um...
and you can just run over here. They may come through this way, though. Though, probably not. Feels unlikely. Okay, let's get you over here. Alright, good. Oh, yeah, I could have moved you too. That's okay. Enemy activity! What? That was just that closing. Okay. Oh boy, that startled me. I wasn't sure what it meant. No, it's because these guys had just ran through it. Not that there was an alien in the shadows then. So we don't have to worry when a sentry gun runs through. We don't have to worry about it closing and startling me. See, like, can't even open it if I wanted to. Yeah, can't even, can't even if I wanted to. Alright, boys. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> There's something very funny about the sentry gun. Look, just, look, it's on tiny little wheels. I feel like these ones shouldn't be able to get through terrain. Just straight up. They have tiny little wheels. They're not tank tracks. They're not going to crush anything that they run into. And, like, the fact that in their description, it's like, oh, they have little wheels, so they're only they're only able to go over the even terrain. I mean, it makes them sound like they could just get knocked over easily. And yet they can crash straight through a building. I think crashing straight through a wall doesn't count as even terrain. You know, even just going over the bits of wall make it feel like they're, they're probably fine anyway. I don't see it being a problem, personally. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna park myself over here. So if anything comes through this door, I can, uh, I can welcome it. Absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. Okay, let's get you two parked over here. Get you parked up. Oof! Hope that wasn't valuable. These things are ridiculous. Uh, also, we lost our cover, I just realised. Bloody hell. Alright. <laughs> let's. Let's, um. Let's just close this, okay? We can't. It got smashed to bits, of course. It's alright. We don't need cover. Where we're going, we don't need cover. Turns out the cover was the friends we made along the way. Alright, I guess that'll do. Uh, I feel like we have too many folks over here, so I'm actually going to come join this party with Ishihara. Which will be um, pretty abrupt when we just walk in here and realise, oh, there's nothing here and everyone can charge in. Um, yeah, you guys mind. So we have three more troops here, ready to move in. Hey, come on, aliens. Just come, come out. I can hear them moving around. Possibly. That might have been one of the doors closing, in fact. Might have been. Hello. Hello there, aliens. There's no aliens. Alright. Smash through here now. I guess smash through here too. I really hope we're not going to have a bill. I really hope we're not going to have a bill for this. Just suddenly, like, a bunch of our troops can't... can't sleep here anymore, because we destroyed their... their I was going to say habitat. That's a weird... weird phrase to use. Destroyed their bed. It's just bed. Look at me, speaking like a non-human. <laughs> like an alien. Dun-dun-dun. The aliens are the friends we made along the way. Um, and I could just walk through here with him as well. And just leave. Just leave them to overwatch whatever moves out. Yeah, screw it. What the hell are these things? Huh. They have an energy shield. As well as armor, I think. I think that's what that means. Uh, start blasting? Can we flash these, I wonder? Don't like the fact that the beds are in the way. Uh, you would probably be better to run up closer to them. We. 
Really? That was an astounding number of misses. Genuinely astounding. And we can't close this now. Now I'm embarrassed. Now I'm very embarrassed. Alright, who is... Gonna suppress? Probably you. you. No, you can't get into there. Um... Brown. Don't have very good strength. He does. But I could definitely do a lot of damage if I can crawl up on him. If I move there... Okay, don't not, I do not like these lag spikes. They can't be suppressed. <gasps> this could be very dangerous. Just like straight up, like... Horrible danger we're in. Horrible danger. Alright, good mayday. Ugh. Ow! Rude. Okay, don't like these beds. Don't like these beds here. Uh, who's got the machine gun? You got the machine gun. Good, maybe clear out these beds. Might work. Oh god, please stop. Okay, thanks. Oh, check that out. We actually destroyed his little canopy. Oh, that's fun. Uh, you have gone through there. You've moved. Why is it now? Right. Why is it I decided to uncover these guys now? It's very annoying. Yeah, let's try and get these three over here. Try and get this lot in. Let's get you in here too. Because ideally I want to present them with more targets, you see. You've already shot. Means you can move forwards. Can't get a good shot on him though. Which is a shame, because he's the one that's nearly dead. You may have noticed. Really, really don't give Mayday to get killed here. Really don't. The fact we can't flashbang them is um, very scary. I can shoot twice though, can't I? I can shoot twice. Or I could have everyone, everyone go full auto and just see if we get enough like stray lasers to miss one, hit the other kind of thing, you know. With them clustered together like that, burst shot might be more effective. Well, that was fine, actually. And that explosion seemed to help, but not entirely. Oh, that really felt like that hit. Excellent. We may have it. Oh, really? Dude, what are you doing getting suppressed? That's everybody, isn't it? Crap, de crap. But he's even duck. And, oh, now you have the machine gun. Oh, no. If he hadn't flashbanged, he might have been able to get the kill. This thing will definitely get another shot. It will definitely get another shot. Although... <laughs> there's no way I could, I could... Get in here and shoot that guy without shooting one of my friends in the back. No way. Yeah. Shame. Alright. Uh, move you over here. And... Yeah, the sentry gun we had over that way was the one that blew up. Yeah, that's everybody. Alright, we just need to see if this thing kills someone. Hopefully Gamede is going to be okay. I really don't want him to suffer. Oh, no, that looked like a kill. That's two kills. It just killed two of us. Oh, that's brutal. 
Oh no, who did we lose? We lost Brown and Moore. Oh, I really like Moore and Brown, I've decided. I can't remember why or what they did. And you were suppressed, which is very frustrating. Um, because there's an explosion. It does an explosion, you see. It explodes when it's, um, when it dies. Oh, and you can't even hit that anyway. Yeah, not great odds. Let's try it. Two health, really? Alright, you can get it. Oh my god, this lag is horrible. I hate the lag. Because you click, and then it just sort of like doesn't register until the lag stops, and by then your curse is in a different place. Well, that's it. Can't believe it killed two of us. I hate that. Hate that. That's very sad. Oh no! <laughs> Remember how I said I had a good feeling about Sentry 4? Sentry number four and how we change his name to Mambo. Rip Mambo. Um, well, it's fine. We got two alien jetpacks. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, thank God. Denise survived. She was a major. But Lieutenant George Brown, sadly, was killed in action. But I'm glad she survived. And got Crimson Heart, so more, more points for her. And Distinguished Service Medal. Ten missions. Excellent. And Rude got his ten mission badge as well. So that's fine, actually. That's not bad at all. Although I've got to say, those things, um, yes, they were very powerful and scary, and you couldn't suppress them. Maybe you could suppress them if you'd taken the hood off the top. Maybe. Perhaps. But what the hell even were they? Cyber drones. Okay. Um, but the problem is, as tense as it was when we realised we couldn't kill them and they were shooting at us and it did a lot of damage and scary, that doesn't feel like an invasion force. You know what I mean? Like, those two were just on their own and then the rest of the aliens put up no fight and it didn't really feel like we were being invaded. It... Yeah, I don't know. It didn't have that fun sense of like, oh my god, they're everywhere. They're pouring in from every hangar. No, it's just like, just two things worth worrying about. Um, so, I don't know. I would have preferred just numbers over... You know, quantity over quality when it's like an alien invasion, right? That's kind of the point. We're like this small tactical squad, but we completely outnumbered the enemy in that situation, which feels a bit a bit like the opposite of what should be the case. Um, it should feel like we're being invaded, not that uh, we're finding a couple of them like, you know, on a rambling holiday. It just, yeah, I don't know. I would, I would prefer to be fighting more enemies. Like, one of those really elite things would have been really cool as, like, a boss fight. Just, like, trailing behind just, like, waves of crap. That would have really kept the tension up. Um, and been like, oh my god, we're running out of ammo now that we have to deal with this big scary thing. I think it would have been more interesting. Uh, instead, it was just like, no, oh, we happened to stay alive because we missed a couple of times. And then it just one-shotted a couple of people. Like, it didn't feel like we were countering much. So, I don't know. I hope they refine invasions a bit. Because that was fine, but I think it should be epic. It should be really exciting. It should be a huge moment of tension and confusion, but it was just kind of like, I don't know, just moving through another wall then, fine. Um, you know, the reason why it was able to, they were able to do as well as they did, is because by the end we'd got kind of complacent. So, I don't know. So, Cyber Drone. Uh, very scary. So this is basically like a, 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 a brainoid, or whatever the hell we've been calling them. But, um, fully encased, which is interesting. Cyber drone is the alien equivalent of a battle tank, a cybernetic behemoth that hovers across the battlefield carrying the sort of weaponry and armor plating more commonly seen mounted on UFOs. Although less than two meters tall and little over a meter wide, the recovered specimen weighs almost four tons. Wow. Hardened alloy shell of the cyber drone accounts for much of this. It is so thick that the creature is almost impervious to frontal attack. The reactor unit mounted on the rear is rather more vulnerable. Interesting. Indeed, battlefield reports suggest cyber drones automatically orient themselves towards potentially threatening sounds, e.g. gunfire, to avoid exposing it to attack. So if it sounds, that could have been really interesting. So the, the troops that we had that couldn't actually reach it, we could have just had fire down the hallway and they may have turned, and we could have shot them in the back. That would have been really cool. So that's interesting. Uh, beneath the armor, 
uh, sits a shapeless purple sack of genetically engineered vital organs and brain tissue connected in countless places to electronic sensors and life support systems housed within the shell. Were these connections severed, the pitiful creature would be left deaf, blind, and slowly suffocating under its own body weight. The primary armament of the Cyber Drone is a fearsome fusion cannon. This draws power directly from the reactor unit to generate devastating bolts of explosive energy, annihilating the target and inflicting several splash damage, uh, se not several, severe splash damage on anything nearby. Although maintaining adequate spacing between your soldiers uh, will minimize casualties, the best defense is simply to eliminate any of these cyborg monstrosities as quickly as possible. So I don't know if there's a way to disable one of these. But maybe if we do blow the armor off the top, we can just start hitting it with sticks and it will just, like, fall to the ground. Like normal. But I think we just have to remove its little armor thing. I think that could be the clue there to go, okay, armor's off. <laughs> Time to start beating it with sticks. So we'll see. Uh, and we can rebuild. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Excellent. Vehicles. Uh, it costs 20k instead of 40k, so it's half price. That's nice. So we do that. So we line him up just as a you know a thank you for for fighting those tanks. He did miss 800 times, didn't he? But he did soak up some of their time units with their reaction shots. So, uh, so there's also um, there was a military incident quite close to the crashed UFO. Oh dear. And a naval mutiny. Oh, exciting. Um, okay, do we take this down? Do we go to this one? I think probably, right? So we'll send that. It's a destroyer. So yeah, we'll send Dragonfly. We'll send Dragonfly. Uh, autofill. Jonathan Chance is coming with us, apparently. Weird that... Oh, no, it's not weird. Because, yeah, we didn't load up the dropship for that last mission, did we? That's not how that works. Uh, but we need to make sure that people have the armor they need. Warden armor. Warden armor. Okay, everyone has warden armor. Does everyone have... Ample gunnage? No. Alright, let's just... Um, let's just tell him to be a rifleman. I guess we'll get rid of that. Which is... A shame. Um... Have another flashbang. Oh, nice. And you have... Not that. Tell you to be a rifleman. Okay, good. We'll keep that. Uh, machine gun. We don't really want you to have a machine gun. We only have a shotgun. Uh, okay, who went down and lost our shotgun? I'm not sure. But... Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, Takada. We gave her... I found a bug. I found a bug. We just recovered all the laser machine guns from our sentry turrets, I think. It just created a bunch of laser machine guns. I'm not sure they're supposed to be equipped by la with laser machine guns by default. But maybe they are? Or if they are, it's not supposed to then get added to our inventory. So fine, you can have a machine gun, apparently. Um, do I just want to make her a machine gunner? I mean, very crappy accuracy. So I think making her anything that relies on accuracy is a bit pointless. Uh, quite good time units, though. She might be a good assault, actually. I think she'd be a good assault. Let's make her into an assault. Like, pretty strong, too. Okay, I like that. I think that's good. Uh, you have a rifle. Okay, we have two snipers. Both of which are fine. You know, they have different kinds. But that'll do. Rifleman. You all love rifles. Got a bit of extra capacity. Let's tell you what. Give you some more ammo, I think. Uh, not you, though. It's six, isn't it? So that's fine. Yeah, you can have some extra ammo as well. Uh, so, okay, you're an assault, but you have a machine gun right now. So, Jonathan Chance is a bit of a weird one. Because, again, we don't quite have enough shotguns for purpose. So, a machine gun... And a baton is a bit weird, but I think I will keep it for now. So I think that makes everyone okay. I think everyone's good. I think everyone's fit for purpose. Um, so that's nice. So this is a pretty good looking squad. I'm happy with it. And uh, it's it, yeah, it's only a destroyer. We've faced them plenty of times before. 
Um, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be we'll be right as rain. See if we can stun the odd thing in there. See if we can, you know, see what we can do, basically. But um, should be a pretty routine mission. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's interesting that we got attacked. I think I think they could be more fun though. The fact that it hinted that um, Reapers could be turning up in any room, and then there were just no Reapers at all. Like it meant that we never really had to turn our backs on the hangers. So I don't know. It felt a bit. Wasted potential, I think, is is the best way to describe it. I think there was a lot of wasted potential. I think it could have been really exciting. And instead it was a little a little slow, you know? Uh, to the point where we finally uncovered those aliens and I wasn't prepared for it because I'd kind of gotten bored. <laughs> so I was just running through. So, I don't know. That notes. Definitely notes. But anyway, um, I thought it was pretty cool. I, uh, I enjoyed it. But yeah, definitely could have been a could have been more exciting. They could have ramped that up to 11, I think. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you then. Take care, guys.